Okay, somebody said just got an Atom X88 1.3, 1.4. It's supposed to come with another cap. It only came with one gun, one on the gun, which is MPR 320. Yep, it only comes with one cap. The only thing you get is the needle and the tip. Okay, you don't get, you use the same cap. So if you got the needle and the tip, that's all it is. You reuse the, the cap that comes with it. So you're good. Oh, what brand of epoxy primer do you recommend? And will it be fine with acrylic lacquer primer and base coat? Uh, you could use a lacquer primer. Um, a 2K, 2K primer is a lot better than a lacquer primer. Uh, lacquer primer is very thin. It's good to just do a quick cover if you want, but you could put single stage on top of lacquer primer, or you could put base coat clear coat on top of lacquer primer. Um, as far as a brand goes, there's so many brands. I mean, I use Advantage epoxy primer. PPG makes a good epoxy primer. Um, I'm using um, ECG makes a good uh, epoxy primer, European Genuine Coatings. They also make a good 2K filler primer. So, you know, there's a lot of brands and they all pretty much work the same, you know? So it depends on your budget. Do you want to spend $80 for a gallon kit or 120? You know, it all depends. And should you put the body back on the frame chassis before doing body work or does it matter? Um, it doesn't matter. It depends on how you want to do it. You know, every project is different. Some people want to basically do everything separate, paint the frame itself, have that done. Then you could put the body on it and then do the body and paint the body. Or you could paint the body, do the frame and then mount everything on. It, it depends how your shop situation is, is set up. You know, you might not have enough room to keep, you know, all, everything apart. Uh, but, it, you know, it really doesn't matter. It's just it's personal preference, you know, personal preference. But if you're going to be painting the frame, it's good to have the body off of it, right? So you can paint the frame. That's what I did with my uh, 67 Chevelle. I had the subframe pulled out on the front, painted all of that with single stage. Um, I undercoated the whole body underneath, you know, the firewall and all underneath was all undercoated. Then I put it together, right? And then I did the body work. Uh, with the doors and the quarter panel and everything like that. So that's how I did it. You know, I wasn't too concerned about the overspray getting toward in that area. And I really didn't get overspray in it anyway. It still looked great after I painted the body um, once it was all put together, you know. So it, personal preference, bro. What green sandpaper do you recommend for prepping aluminum? Um, what do you mean by prepping aluminum? Do you mean like putting just clear coat on it? Or do you want to prime it and paint it, you know? Uh, if you're going to be priming it and getting rid of aluminum, you could go with like a 180, 220, and then put some epoxy primer on it, followed by 2K filler primer, sand that out smooth with 400 and then paint it. Um, but if you're going to clear coat it, um, it depends. If you want to have like a brush stroke look, you can go, you can use like a 600 grit, get like that brush stroke, you know, look to it and then clear on top of that you can clear directly on top of aluminum guys you could do it uh so you know it all depends on what you want to do dan <clears throat> what are the colorful clip looking things that came in the package that's just basically to color code your gun um if you want to they clip on the side of your trigger do i have an x88 here i don't think i don't want to unplug my mic i don't think i have an x88 i actually do but it's over there um, they just go on your trigger. They clip on the side of your trigger. If you have two X88s, you know, of the same ones and you have a clear coat and a base coat, you can color code them um, if you're using them for separate materials. That's all it is. I don't even have mine on, you know, I don't even care about those things. Paint booth job. It doesn't matter. Whatever you want to do, whatever you want to do. I did the Good Van Project here, single stage in my garage. It came out fantastic. Um, although clear coat is a little bit more forgiving if you screw up, if you have runs, you can clear, you can color sand and buff a little easier, um, especially if it's a metallic, um, you know, if you got dust in it, you can, you can color sand and buff if you got dust in clear coat, but you could color sand and buff with single stage also. Um, it doesn't matter, man. It, it just depends on your budget. You know, single stage is going to be a lot cheaper, a lot quicker. You could finish your car painting half the time. 
base coat clear coat, you're going to be doubling it because you're you're going around two coats of base, you know, two, two and a half or three coats of base uh, and then two coats of clear uh, with single stage. You're just going around the car two two medium wet coats with paint and it's covered. You're done. So painting a single stage literally takes half the time. And it's probably about half the money in material, give or take. Hang on single stage paint. Um, galvanize, I mean, it's just a metal toolbox. So I'm, I'm assuming you're going to prime it and paint it. You could just, it's basic. It's basic. It's, you could sand it with like a 220, prime it, sand it and paint, and paint it. Single stage. Sand it with 220. Uh, you could put a, a DTM primer on it and um, sand that, hit that flat with a, a DA. You could put, you know, three 360 grit. You could paint single stage over 360, no problem. You know, even 320. Okay, but I wouldn't go coarser than that. Uh, uh, what is the best filler for aluminum before I prime and paint it? Best filler for aluminum. You could use regular body filler, bro. Or you can use uh, kitty hair. It depends. Regular, you know, Rage Evercoat body filler. You could fill aluminum. Same stuff you use on on metal. Um, painting the metal window trim on my 95 F-150 black. What kind of paint should I use? The body of the truck will be red. Um, if you're going to be... I would just use a single stage black. You know, usually trim trim pieces are black, um, especially by the window. So I would go with a black single stage. You could just sand it down with, um, you know, like uh, if... Look, you could paint single stage directly over metal as well. So it depends how, how anal you want to get or how sentimental your project is, okay? So you could sand it down with like a 280, 320, prime it give that a scuff and then put some single stage black on it. Or you could just sand it down with like a 360 grit and then paint black right over it. But I would make sure if you're going to be going paint directly over metal, if you're going to be doing a single stage directly over metal, make sure your first coat is a little light on the light side. So I would do like a tack coat, just let it set up. Okay. Even though it looks like foggy and you got a tack coat on, let it set up and then put two heavy, you know, two heavy coats on it. Um, and it will hold up single stage does hold up on bare metal. You know, it's, it's some people do it, you know, especially on little trim pieces. So it's up to you. Good point. Um, I was thinking he was going to be sanding down the galvanized, but yeah, uh, if, if you're going to be doing primer on top of galvanized, you might want to use the primer Steven's talking about, but if you're going to be sanding, you could sand the galvanized off. Normally, that's what I do because sometimes when you're working with sheet metal, you use galvanized steel. You basically, you should, you should sand or grind off the galvanized before you use it. Um, especially if you're going to be, you know, you're going to be painting over it. That's why I, I like using stainless steel sheet metal versus galvanized because you cannot weld over galvanized. It'll pop. You know, when you start to weld, it won't. It won't weld over galvanized. You got to grind the galvanized edge off at least to be able to spot weld sheet metal. Product to use to bond emblems and body molding. Uh, there's a 3M product called Emblem and, Ad and Emblem and Trim Adhesive. I use it in my VIP videos. It's in it's in VIP. Um, it just comes in a little tube, a glue tube by 3M. Just make sure you don't put too much because it'll gob out of your emblem. You know, it'll gob out onto the paint area. Just put a, be careful. And then you want to make sure you put a piece of uh, masking tape on it to hold it down. Um, it's called Emblem and Trim Adhesive by 3M. You can get it on eBay if they don't have it at your local uh, store. Good stuff. I've been using it for years. Cast aluminum. Does anybody know the answer to this? To me, for me, I mean, regular body filler works uh, for for that type of stuff. You could use regular body filler or you could use um, kitty hair, short strand kitty hair. And yes, you could also use two-way tape. Two-way tape you can use. But some emblems 
it's just easier to put a dab of glue on it and snack it and snag it on. But if you have two-sided 3M tape, that works just as well. Paint and cut it in half to make two quarts. Um, I'm afraid that's, you're gonna be reducing it a little too much, guys. Um, yeah. I'm not sure you're gonna be able to reduce it down that much. You know, you could probably reduce it down 10, 10%, 10%, 15%, but any more than that, you're really going to be reducing your your urethane candy. I'm thinking you're you're saying you're saying lacquer candy, but I'm thinking it's urethane, right? I don't think it's lacquer. Painting a light yellow base coat. Which color should I apply? Which color should I apply the yellow over? Did a test spray card with gray, yellow, white, sanded clear, and they have different shades. Um, would I be able to apply more coats to make them all match? I'm not sure what your question is. Does anybody know what Montana Tan is talking about? Painting a light yellow base coat, which color should I apply the yellow over? Oh, you're talking about a base coat under it. Well, in the end, it won't matter if you have a lot of coats on it. Maybe it between the gray and the white, you're only going to tell the difference if you have light coats on it. If you put more coats over the gray, it'll look like the one on the white. So I would say it depends on, it's your personal preference. You know, if you want to go with a gray base coat, you could do that. Or if you want to go with a white, it's up to you, man. Uh, can you bondo over bondo? Absolutely. You can bondo over bondo because, you know, when you're in the body work process, Sometimes you're going to discover a low spot and you got to put another coat of filler on it. Sometimes you're just doing some custom, body, you know, some custom body work spots. If you're doing a custom car with, you know, basically maybe you're turning in, you're turning a, um, a VW van into a pickup truck. You're going to be putting a lot of coats of Bondo on those pillar areas trying to, you know, or, or metal. And, you know, I've seen a lot, you know, we, I've seen a lot of custom body work and I've done a lot of cost, custom body work. Sometimes you're going to be going over bodywork areas five, six times, you know, like just adding filler on top of filler just to shape it and get the right, uh, the right feel for it. Uh, can I use Omni Reducer for an Evercoat High Build Acrylic Primer? You should be able to, yes. Um, hey, what do you do for silicone fish eyes? My paint has done it three times on the bumper, washed and sanded each time, VIP member. Um, I'm not sure, man. It might you might have a contaminated airline. Make sure you have filters on your air. You don't, you're not getting any air compressor oil in your air or something. I don't know. That just seems odd. Um, what you could do is buy um, a tube of fisheye. Um, what is it called? Fisheye. Fisheye remover, but I forgot the brand because I haven't used it in a while. Does anybody know the fisheye remover brand? It's basically a little pump bottle that you add in your paint. Transstar. Eastwood has them. Transstar. Transstar has it, but that's not the one I used to use. But if you just Google it, fisheye eliminator, um, Eastwood has it and Transtar has it. You just add a little, a little squirt in your paint and that should help you out. Thank you. Thank you guys. It was beautiful to see everybody on here again. Some of the old timers, um, keep in touch and I'll see you later. Aloha and, um, keep an eye open for a new video on the van project coming out in the next day, give or take peace guys. Thanks. <laughs>